Hey, hey, Catherine. Hi, Jen. Hi, Zoe. Happy Thursday. Yes, happy Thursday. Did you know it's going to be the weekend soon? I'm so excited. <laughs> yes. What's Zoe right. coloring over there today? Uh, we are making a flag, and she's going to also make a flag. Flag, although it may be a non-traditional flag, so we'll just see what happens. That's all right. Yeah, it may end up looking like a rainbow. Well, that would be really pretty. Uh, are you making with an American American flag? I'm making a rainbow out of red, orange, yellow, rainbow. Yes, rainbows all around. We should do a rainbow class. Oh, we should. That's a good idea for our next schedule. Maybe you can use stamps and rainbow. All right, everybody, let us know where you're coming in from. We are um, based in Texas. And so tell us in the chat, tell us if it's your birthday, let us know if you lost a tooth. Let sure us know where you're from. I know we had a friend that lost a tooth recently. Got a nice tooth fairy visit. That's awesome. But I know. It's, and I got some dollars. It's Scarlet. Scarlet lost a tooth. She lost her, was that her first tooth? Mm-hmm, it was. We saw her just the day before too. That's a big moment. Yes, it is. Ah. Hi everyone, we see everywhere that you're from. Thanks for joining us from all over the country. Today we're gonna be making uh, flags. Here are a couple of mine. You have any big plans for the holiday weekend? Not here. I think the weather's supposed to be rainy. Yeah, Our yeah I think you're right. Danny Cooper. But Mama, it's sunny outside. It is sunny outside. But it may not be in five minutes. All oh. right. So um, we are we are making a craft stick craft today. Uh, we're hoping you can craft with us, but as always, if you don't have your supplies, we can either talk about things you can use, uh, you can always draw a picture of a flag and decorate it, um, or you can, you know, join us today and then make your flag when you have all of your supplies. So um, don't you worry about having all the stuff. And we'll talk to you also about all the things that you can use if you don't have all the supplies on the supply list. So. Um, did we want to show the uh, where to find it real quick? Yeah, I can go ahead and uh, I left the link of the the direct link to the project, but I can share my screen with you and show you. Um, so you guys can chat the chat with the link, or Karina, our lovely helper Karina, is going to show you how to find it on our website. Okay, so, you can find all kinds of crap there, guys. Yeah, so I just went to the home page here, and then you click on projects. And this week it's featured under um, our featured projects, so that's really easy to find. There you go. Awesome, thank you, Karina. All right. So I'm just going to run through the supplies real fast, just so you know, super easy today. Um, you need craft sticks, which we have in abundance here. It doesn't matter if you have the regular popsicles kind, or I'm using the size that's more uh, like a kid's, or kid's, a tongue depressor, also used on kids. Uh, and then there's a mini craft stick. So if you have any of those kinds, um, they'll all work. You might just have to adjust how many of the sticks that you're putting in. And then you're going to need some kind of paint or marker to color your craft sticks. I like to use the Creatology paint here. This is a washable paint. It comes in a cool little pouch. Um, it's good for kids three and up. Super easy to use. Um, the, the pouch is my favorite. It, there's a lot of paint in there and it's also easy to dispense and use. Um, and you can also see we have some markers. And um, Yes, Can you help me yes, the sides? I will help you. All right, and um, you're also gonna need some glue. 
You're also gonna need uh, something to put under your craft sticks so that when you're painting, you don't get paint on the table or anything. All right. And Catherine, are you guys using anything over there that we're not using here? Um, I don't know, we're using paint markers. I have a different Creatology paint, um, the acrylic one that comes in the box. I think I've shown it before. And then we're also gonna use the regular size popsicle sticks. I didn't have the big ones. So for anyone who is using a different size popsicle stick, we're right there with you on this side. Awesome. All right. And then yes, I'm seeing lots of uh, stuff in the chat. You can use whatever colors you want. You don't have red and blue or white. Um, you can absolutely make any kind of flag that makes you happy. We're just making a, an American flag today, uh, but you're more than welcome to make any kind of flag. You can invent a flag and make your own personal flag, but we're gonna show you how to do these American flags today. All right, so I'm gonna show you two different ways that you can do this. Um, one of the methods would be to glue the flag sticks together first and then paint. And the other is to paint your sticks first and then glue them together after your paint's dry. So this craft takes a little bit of patience because you do have to let the paint dry before you glue them together. And on the other one, you have to let the glue dry before you can paint them. So that's why I'm doing two. And if you want to do two with me, that's cool too. Then you'll Hi, have Jen. for each hand. Hey, Jen. Um, so we have a few people saying that they only have the skinny sticks. Yeah, that's no problem. Whatever size craft stick you have is perfectly fine. You can use the, reg the regular thin kind um, and you don't have to change the amount. The only one you might have to change the amount is if you have those little short sticks that are like a half stick, that's the only one. But if you're using regular or these thick ones, it's the same number of sticks either way. All right, so you're gonna take five of your craft sticks and you're gonna put them together like this. And the first thing I'm going to do is number this, these, this is the back. So I'm going to just number each stick. One, two, three, four, and five. Because when you paint these and you turn them over to glue them together later, you're going to want to know what order they go in. I learned that the hard way. <laughs> That's All a right. good tip. <laughs> Set those aside. And then um, since I'm doing two flags, this this will work out nicely. You're going to need a little um, half of a stick that's going to go across one side of the flag and then your whole stick is going to be the flagpole on the flag. So I would let your parents do this part but you're going to you're going to need help here cutting your craft stick in half. It's pretty easy with a regular pair of scissors. Won't really work well with kid scissors. Um, you can break it in two if you don't have scissors, that's okay too. But you're just going to cut that craft stick in half. You're going to use one for one flag and I'll use the other one for the other flag here. All right. So for my second flag, and again, if you just want to do one flag, that is a-okay. If you want to do two with me, that's okay too. Like I said, there's a lot of drying time in here. so. There's plenty, plenty of time to do two if you want to. And I always like to make sure my sticks are um, kind of straight because if they're not, they won't glue very well. All right. And if you don't have paint, you can use uh, markers to color your sticks. Um, you can, uh, you could probably use like a colored pencil. We'll color just fine on wood. I don't know that crayons would work as well. But don't, don't be afraid to use something else. If you want to go fast, the markers are actually the better way to go if you don't have a lot of time to wait for it to dry. So something to think about. All right. So I have my second flag here put together. I'm just going to take the regular Elmer School glue here. And I'm going to put one line of glue down the right side of the flag. You see right here. And then I'm going to put my stick down so that the top of the stick is down a little bit below that very first stick. You can see right here, it comes down. 
but it's still touching all five of the popsicle sticks under it. You're just gonna kind of press it down a little bit. And then you're gonna glue your short stick that we cut is gonna go on the other side. So I'm just gonna put a little bit of glue here on the short stick and hey put it down the left side. Yes. Quick question on uh, would watercolors uh, paints be okay to use? Absolutely. Yep. Uh, just like any kind of paint, different paints have different saturations. So like certain markers, you might have to go over it a couple of times or maybe some markers are really, really dark. It's the same thing with paint. So um, yeah, if you want it to be light, that's fine. Just go over it once. If you want it to be a little darker, you might have to go over it twice. Okay, so I have glued this one together. You see here, long side and short side. So this is the pole side. And I'm gonna leave it over here and I'm not gonna bother it for a while. We're gonna come to this second flag and I'm gonna turn the five sticks over that I numbered and we're going to paint them in just a second. So the first thing I wanna do is make a space for the blue part of the flag. So again, if you're making up your own flag or um, you, know, you wanna just color the bands of the, or the sticks different colors and do your flag that way, you can skip this part. Um, but if you're making the American flag with us, you're gonna put your five sticks in a row here and then you can use a ruler if you have one. I like to use another popsicle stick as my straight edge. And you're just gonna take a pencil and go over not quite halfway in to the middle. So just shy of the middle. And you're gonna draw a straight line down on three of the sticks. I'm gonna try to make this really dark so you can see. The line here. Actually, I think I'm gonna do this with a marker so you can see. So again, on the left hand side of your flag, you're gonna mark a line down through three of the sticks and don't do it right in the middle. Come to the left just a little bit to draw your line. All right, so, and, and it, when you're doing this, it's from the top to the bottom. So it looks like my, looks like my camera is upside down here. So let me turn my sticks around. Okay, so the top three sticks will, will have the line through it. Can you see that okay? A question, um, yeah. how do you use the skinnier craft sticks? And I think it's, a lot similar to what you're doing. It's just, you might have to add more. Um, so the instructions were actually written for the thin craft sticks. So you can still use five craft sticks if you want, unless you're, I mean, when you're talking about skinny, are you talking about the, um, you know, the, the three eighths craft stick or is it something super, super skinny? Without seeing it, it's hard to know what to tell you. The regular kind ate a popsicle and it's a popsicle stick you can use five just like I'm doing yeah that's and then what the I'm tongue doing to you have the popsicle sticks yeah and I'm using five um Perfect. and it works just fine it's just a little smaller in scale but I'm still using the same number okay great yeah like I said the instructions were written for the popsicle stick size I just happen to have the the larger size with me but it works just fine either way all right so once you have made your lines, I am separating my sticks out because what you're gonna do now is this side of the, the shorter side of the three sticks with the line, you're gonna paint that blue. So that's gonna be the blue part of your flag. Now you can uh, put paint out onto a plate or a, pa a paint palette, or you can go straight onto your brush. I'm using a foam brush. You can use any kind of brush that you have at home. It doesn't matter. Again, if you're coloring with a marker, that's easy, easy enough. And, and you may uh, have to go a over this a couple of times. Yep. Um, can you also make the craft with 
uh, toothpicks, which I think may be a little small. So you, you can actually make the craft with two toothpicks. You are just going to have to, you're gonna have to eyeball it to, you know, get your proportions right to make it look like a flag. But, but yeah, you, you would, um, you would probably need to give it a long time to dry. So um, I would actually use the method of gluing before you paint if you're going to use something as small as a toothpick, um, just because I think it'll be easier to paint once they're all glued together. All right, so I'm almost done painting the blue sides here. And again, I'm just putting paint straight down onto my foam brush. And I picked a really skinny foam brush for this one because, um, well, they're really skinny. How's it going over there, Catherine and Bellamy? Good. My lesson learned on, I would say not only this project, but all the projects we've done so far, <laughs> is less paint is better. Because oh. it, it, you know, has good coverage, dries faster. You know what I mean? I yeah. think I tend to get heavy handed with the paint and I've had to learn through our kids club events that that didn't help me. <laughs> <laughs> So I'm trying to remind myself as I get paint on my brush, like, slow down. It's all okay. Yep. Okay. So the next thing you're going to do is you're going to paint um, the red one. I'm actually going to turn mine around because it's I'm right-handed, so it's easier uh, to do this to the right. Hey, Jen, um, um, here's another hack yeah. we got from the chat. Um, someone is using cardboard instead of craft sticks, so that's oh uh, yeah, absolutely being resourceful. Uh, yes, I, that is, I love that. If you don't have um, what we have, any of these kids clubs that we do, um, you know, we love hearing your hacks. This is this is what it's about: finding what you have, using what you have, crafting, having a good time. All right, so I'm going to put the red paint down. And I'm going to do red on three of the five sticks. So I'm, I'm going to say this twice because I almost did this wrong the other, uh, the other day when I was doing this. You want to skip over every other stick. And if it helps you, and this is what I did, is I pull those sticks out. So first stick is going to be red. Your second stick will be white. So I'm going to pull it out. Your third stick is going to be red, so that means your fourth stick is white, and you're going to pull it out. So that leaves you with the three sticks that you need to paint with red, and that'll keep you from accidentally painting one of your sticks red that needs to be white, because it's a lot harder to cover up red than it will be to paint on a on a fresh craft stick. All right. One so, question on how do you get the glue to dry faster? You can use a couple of methods. Um, you can blow on it, like, you know, like old school. Dryer. Or you can put a hair dryer. Thank you, Zoe. She knows what mama does. That's what <laughs> I do. If I want something to dry faster, I use my <laughs> hair dryer. She knows your crafting hacks now. I know. She's just giving them all away, all my secrets. She sees. And I would agree about the paint coverage, Catherine. Um, if you go too thick on it, like, especially this Creatology, I'm like, this is my new favorite paint, man. Like, it, it has really good pigmentation. Um, in the world of kids' paint, sometimes that can be a little frustrating, is finding one that's a, a good pigmentation, which just equals, in my mind, high quality and good coverage. Um, and this is, this is a superb paint here. So, I've only done, the one you see over here in the example, that is one coat of paint. Um, Jen, there's also uh, some good um, suggestions over here. A few people who don't have paint are using colored craft sticks. So we sell those, um, just as an FYI. Yeah. <laughs> you guys, you guys are so good, I love it. Love all these great ideas. Okay, so I'm done with my red. I'm gonna set my red brush aside. 
and I'm going to paint the white. Zoe, your sticks are looking really great. Zoe's using the markers here to do hers. All right, so I'm going to do my white sticks next. And on this one, you want to be real careful because we did the blue, not to drag the blue paint into your white. It's tricky, so when in doubt, move slow. You've got glue drying anyway, so we're not in any hurry. That's a really good side brush. All right, so I painted my blue one first, and then I'm going to go to the one that doesn't have any paint on it next and give it a nice coat. Uh, there was one question around what's the best paint you to use, the one you called out? Ah, yes. Happy to talk about it all the time. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so this is our Creatology paint. It's a washable paint. It comes in this super awesome pouch, so you can kind of see. I'm turning it so you can get an idea of what it looks like. And this is like half full, so you can see like as you use it, it squeezes down. It's got this awesome little small top on it, so it you're not going to spill a whole bunch of it. It's really easy to dispense this paint, um, and you get a lot in this little pouch, and I believe they're like 99 cents, so. I'll, I'll link it in the chat. Yeah. 99 oh, cents, we have 14 you. colors in store. Yes. Good one. Yeah, and all I'm gonna say is, I love more colors, Captain. I hear you, I hear you. I'll work on it. <laughs> I'll Someday work on it, friends. Okay, good. Someday we're gonna have to do something with the gold paint. They make a gold paint. Yes, we have gold and a silver. Oh my gosh. I know I put it on everything. Actually, I use these paints on my cat that's back here, and uh, I work some gold into it just for fun. You'll have to tell me what colors I'm missing. Okay, I will. I'm I'm open. Okay, so we have painted our our five craft sticks here that are going to be for our second flag. So what I'm going to do is very carefully, and if you don't want to move them, you don't have to. I'm just working in a small space here, but I'm going to move these out of my way. And our other one over here that hasn't been painted yet, he's getting pretty dry. So we're going to move to painting this one. All right, so all my craft sticks out of the way. I'm gonna let those dry and then check it out. This guy that we just glued a few minutes ago, he's all dry. So now I'm gonna show you how to do this where you're painting the sticks once they're all glued together. So this one you have to be a, a little bit more careful on um, because you can't kind of space them out and you can see right here my mess you, you kind of paint off of the off of the stick a little bit and it's a lot it's a lot easier to go off the sides with the small craft stick so keep that in mind all right so i'm going to go back through this again and i think this this time i'm going to start with white um actually first i need to draw my stripe so we're going to, I'm going to do this with a Sharpie again. Normally I would just do this with a pencil, but just so you can see it for the camera here. So from the middle of the flag, and I know this is upside down, so let me turn it like this so you can see it the way it looks like flag. Okay, so middle of the flag, and you're going to go just to the left of the middle a little bit. Put your craft stick down so you can make the line straight, and you're going to mark the three top sticks with a line. And that's going to tell you where to put the blue and where the rest of the colors go. Okay, so and keep being careful because even though it's glued together, like it's still pretty soft at this point. So you don't want to get too crazy with it and make it fall apart. It's really just advice to myself. How's it going? Is everybody uh, everybody having success with whatever medium you've decided to use to paint your flag? We're doing pretty good. Oh, we've done. Done. Too. Oh, we have people wow. here. Done. Whoa. I'm telling you, there are, are some. Oh, look, Zoe's got one more to do, and then she's gonna be done. Okay. There's some super fast crafters out there. 
going to have to start handing out virtual gold stars. <laughs> All right. So like I said, I'm going to do my white first. I think it'll, it'll work better since um, we're, ha we're having to paint on sticks that are stuck together. Oh, there's a nice hack um, I found. Um, on the chat, they mentioned they use masking tape or painter's tape to hold the sticks together while the glue dried. That is awesome. They were in my brain. Yes. The whole time I'm that like, I need some tape. <laughs> yeah, tape is our friend. I love it. All right. A question on how do you uh, make the stars? All right, the stars, for those of you who have gotten there, uh, you, can, you can make these stars any way you want. Um, you can either take st stickers that are stars and put them down. Uh, one of mine here, I'll show you this one that I did. Uh, one of them, I took a small paintbrush and it's about, um, let's see if it said, it's a one, a number one paintbrush. You can see it's got a really small little tip on the end. And I just stabbed it into some white paint and I did nine dots across and nine dots down. And then my other one, I actually, Michael sells this cool little, little box of uh, miniature stamps. I don't know if you can see this. And this one is a star. So I just took the star and I put it in white paint and then I stamped little stars across this one. And like I said, if you don't have paint and you've been doing something else, you can use stickers, you can draw them on. If you have the white glitter pens, uh, we have the white glitter pens here, so you could draw them on. Just wait until your paint dries if you're using paint uh, and you're doing something intricate like stamping or drawing. Uh, now, if you're doing this little dot method that I did here. You can actually do this with wet paint. You just have to be careful when you're going down into it that you're not pulling glue back up out um, or it'll start mixing in with your white paint. All right, so I've painted my white on my flag. So remember you're painting white on the second one down and the fourth one down. And then I'm going to go in with red on the first, the third, and the fifth. And remember not to go over that line you drew in the middle of the top three, because the left side of that is going to be all blue. How's it going over there, Bellamy? You look like you're hard at work. I'm using glitter pens coloring it. She's oh, great. glitter pens, of course. Palette flag. That is awesome. Zoe's making a multicolor flag over here that looks amazing. Love and if it, you've love it. got your videos on and you want to show us your flag, feel free to hold those flags up. Let everybody see them. Karina can tell us what kind of flags we have out there. Yeah, the, the flags look great. I'm starting to see. Um, there's also a great hack. Someone used a toothpick dipped in white paint to make the stars. Oh, That's yeah. A great idea. Smart. Oh, I love all these flags. They look great. So you can wave them around. You can also paint the handle here. So the, the flag pole that comes down under the flag. Um, I think the instructions say you can paint it white with uh, blue spots or blue dots on it. Um, you can also paint it gold, like, uh, you know, gold flagpole, um, or you can leave it clear, like just leave it the color of the craft stick. That's what I did. I thought it looked kind of cute, um, just the way it was. So both of my flags have just the plain craft stick. Oh, you're done. Those look good, Zoe. Oh, I'm not finished. Oh, I'm sorry. You're not finished. All right. You just let me oh, know someone actually glue um, didn't glue the flag together, and it's a puzzle that way. So that's a great oh, idea. Hey. So creative. Love all these great ideas. 
All right, I'm almost done here. So I've got to do the blue. And it looks like my craft sticks that I painted first, there's, they're looking pretty dry. This is good. So the two flag um, methods be the way to go. Hey Jen, um, a few questions around what paintbrush you're using. I'm gonna try to find it if you can, um, yes. so I can link it. Do you know what the name of it is or the size? Um, I, I do not know. I think it's Creatology. It is definitely a one, which is the small round. It's a one round. And Catherine may know better than I do about the Creatology brushes. Uh, we, I think we do have a one round in our multi-brush okay. sets. Um, and then I know that the art department also sells individual brushes that come in yep. specific sizes. Um, so we, we definitely have a more than one option if you're looking for a paintbrush or the specific one that Jen is using, you'll be looking for the number one round. Yeah, if you're if you're making something this small with the craft sticks like we are, the number one, you could probably use a three, um, but I wouldn't go much bigger than that unless you wanna just do big spots. I, I, I think you'd be all right with a one or a three. I or found it. You can use I'll, be, I'll link it. Hat. Okay, thank you, Karina. And then uh, you asked me about the other. So I'm also using the foam brushes. Now I got these out of a multi-pack. So you can see this one, the foam piece is actually barely wider than the width of the handle of the foam brush. But I have another one. So this one fits the popsicle stick size really well. And then there's another one that's slightly wider. You can see here, it comes over the sides just a little bit more. This one, the wider one, fits the tongue depressor size pops it, or, uh, stick better. So depending on what kind of stick size you have, will kind of determine which one of these brushes will work better. Again, I got these in a multi-pack that we sell. I think it's Craft Smart maybe, um, but it's a, it was just like a box of 25 different foam brushes. All right, so I'm almost done here with this flag. And we'll let it dry for just a little bit when we, while we glue our other flag together. All right, Karina just put it in the chat. Thank you, Karina. All right. So I'm going to set this one aside to dry. And then we're going to pull our other flag together. And, and remember, we wrote the numbers on the back so that when I turn them over, I don't get confused about which one is which. I'm actually going to get a new piece of paper here so that I don't get paint on in case they're just a little bit wet. Mama, I'm done. You're done? Those yeah. look excellent. Oh, look, see, see Bellamy, Zoe decorated hers uh, with smiley faces. I don't know if you can see this. This is the happiest flag I've ever seen. Yay, happy rainbow flag. I love it. Happy flag. And there's a girl one. That's awesome. <laughs> and how is your flag looking, Bellamy? I'm waiting for another glitter pen to do my dots. All right. Mm -hmm. Wait. All right. So we've got our flag turned over in order. One, two, three, four, five. And we're going to glue them together. So just line up the outsides. Nice and neat. And remember, you're going to take that short stick. So we, remember, we cut one in half. And that's going to go over on the left-hand side. So you're going to put glue down, nice generous, generous amount of glue on your stick here. And then you're going to put it down on the left-hand side. And make sure that it touches all five sticks. 
and press it down just a little until the glue flattens. Don't make it smudge out too much. And then you're gonna take your extra, um, your, your plain long stick here, and you're gonna glue it down on the right hand side. So I put the glue down on the actual flag here across all five. And then you're gonna lay it down so that the stick is not coming up over the top of the flag. It needs to come down just a little bit so it's not visible from the front. And again, press the stick down lightly just to make sure that the glue is touching. And if you want, you can kind of squeeze your flag together just a little bit to make sure all your flag pieces are together. Okay, and then you're gonna leave this one alone for a little bit because you need to let it dry. So once you let that one dry, you can paint the, the dots on. But we already have this one, so we're gonna move on to star painting here. And it looks like my paint is still a little bit wet. So instead of doing my stamp, which I did on one of my flags, I'm gonna go ahead and put a little bit of paint <clears throat> onto a plate and I'm going to just do the dot method here for this flag. <clears throat> There's some fun ideas out there for the stars. Um, instead of drawing them on, they're using um, sparkle stick-on jewels for the stars. Um, you can also use stickers. Oh, I love that idea of jewels. I hadn't thought about that. You could use white sequins or all kinds of things. All right. Oh, we have a hack that says to put it in the freezer. It'll dry faster in the freezer. What? I love that. <laughs> so I'm just over here like pouring glue every which direction. I'm like, this is gonna take a while to dry. <laughs> <laughs> I'm using my favorite glue, but I definitely poured too much today, so. That is funny. All right, so I'm gonna do fewer dots, I think, on this one. Oh no, maybe I'll do the same number of dots. My sticks are so big. So for those of you that are using the regular popsicle stick size, you might only do two down. So let me, let me kind of get closer to my camera here so you can see. So what I've done is basically on each stick, um, I've taken uh, and done three dots down, but again, I have the slightly wider stick. So if you have the smaller one, maybe you only do two down for each stick. All right. So once you put in your first line, the others are pretty easy because you're just gonna stay Stay aligned to those. Again, it, be careful. Uh, mine's a little wet, so you have to be really careful not to accidentally pick up the paint that's on the stick. So if you see that it's starting to pick up, you can clean your brush off and then keep going with fresh paint. Catherine, did you say you used um, markers for yours? I did um, one with markers. I did one and a couple with paint. And then Bellamy did one with just glitter okay. markers. Oh, I can't wait to see that one. It we is got definitely some sort of glitter glue. Oh, I bet it is. We got pink, pink glitter glue happening over here. I don't doubt it for a, a second. Good addition though, to Amy. any flag. <laughs> so, did anybody that. decide to make a flag that was uh, blue and unique? I wonder if the freezer works for uh, glitter glue too. That will definitely be something I have to try. I don't know. Maybe we should try because it takes a really long time for the glitter glue to dry. No. <laughs> it's 
it's like water that gets red. Hey, Jen, a lot of people are saying they're right. finished, so we they're are done. done. Thank, thank you so our... much. Awesome. Thank you, guys. I know I just I just put, finished putting the stars on my flag here. So I think at this point, <clears throat> so this one's done. I'm going to keep letting this one dry a little bit longer. Um, the, I, I can see the glue is, is not dry on this one yet, but um, but this one this one's done. So this is the one where we glued it together first and then painted it last. You see it turned out just fine. And again, we have this one where um, I painted the sticks individually and then I put them together. Both methods work. You can do them like we did where you do two flags at one time. That way you're always working and um, while the other thing's drying. Or, or you can just do one if you just wanna do one um, or get creative like our girls here and make some glittery flags. Yes. So. All right. Well, do we have any last questions? It looks like uh, everybody's uh, wrapping up their flag. Don't forget, um, if you want, you can always take a picture. If you put it on Facebook or Instagram, don't forget we have a hashtag make it with Michaels. If you put that hashtag on it, um, it'll show up in our, uh, our photography bucket and, and others can see what you're doing. So. I see a, a rainbow um, on a flag. So cute. Nice. Very, very nice. Well, Jen, thanks for showing us how to make the flag today. You're welcome. Bye. Have a me. It was good to see you. I hope you have a nice weekend. Learn thanks some. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you.